In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the craft oven. I will also show you how to press products in the oven by using heat shrink bags. Heat shrink bags are one of the most exciting innovations in sublimation in recent years. Heat shrink bags are a major step up from the heat clamps of old. And these bags allow for edge to edge transfers in small and large quantities with just a heat gun to shrink the bag around the product and an oven to transfer the image. The bag once shrunk forced the paper tightly against the item to be printed and ensuring the best transfer possible. And best of all the bags are cheap to buy and each bag are single use. Not only do we sell the bags but we also sell this material by the meter so that you can cut the plastic by hand to the desired length you need for your specific product. You can also cut this bag smaller and then seal it with a plastic sealer to make your bags the size you want so you can make smaller bags or leave it as big bags. Here's a table with a list of products, temperatures and times that you can use to press various products in the craft oven by using shrink bags. And these times and temperatures are only tested on this craft oven and may differ on other sizes and types of convection ovens. This is the craft oven and it comes with an oven glove. It also comes with an oven tray. The oven has two levels. This is the bottom level or you can move the tray up to the upper level. But most of the products I will do on the lower level. To switch the oven on, press and hold the time knob button for 5 seconds. You will see the lights come on and settings appear. If you want to switch the press off, press and hold the time knob button again for 5 seconds. Let's start with the settings switch on the oven. Now, the first two knobs are to set your temperature for the upper and the lower elements. The first knob on the left is to set the upper element temperature and the temperature reading at the top is where you will see what the top element is set on at the moment. The second knob is the lower element knob and the temperature reading at the bottom is where you will see what the bottom element is set on at the moment. We strongly recommend that you always keep the top and the bottom element temperature the same to prevent uneven baking. To change the degrees on the top element, turn the upper knob anti-clockwise to decrease the temperature or to the right to increase temperature. The same with the lower element, anti-clockwise to decrease the temperature or clockwise to increase the te temperature. To, to set the time of the oven, this is where you will see the time. Again, turn the knob anti-clockwise to decrease the time or clockwise to increase the time. When all settings are set and correct, now we will let the oven heat up by pressing the time or the start knob once. When you put your hand on the top of the oven, you will feel a slight vibration when it's heating up. After you press start for the oven to heat up and you decide to change the time on the oven, you will find that it will not work. You will need to press the time knob again to pause the oven and then you can change the time to the correct settings. Just press the knob once again and the oven will start heating up again. During heating of the oven, long press the lower knob for 3 seconds to check the current temperature on the oven. And then long press it again for 3 seconds to show the set temperature again. If you want to change the oven to Fahrenheit or to degrees Celsius, long press the upper knob for 3 seconds and you will see the settings changes here. It is now changed to Fahrenheit. I'm going to press the button again and it will go back to degrees Celsius. After you set all your settings, you will see the oven light is on. 
it will go off automatically after a few minutes. If you want to switch on the oven light again, turn the time knob to the right and the light will go on. When the oven reached its set temperature, the clock will automatically start counting down. You can press the time button once to pause the clock, then put your product inside of the press and press the time button again to start the clock again. The first product that we will press with a heat shrink bag in the oven is a metal wine tumbler. So remove the lid. I will do a full wrap around print around the top part of the wine tumbler. Make sure the print is secure and wrap tightly around the tumbler and then secure it with multiple pieces of heat tape here and there around the edges. Place the wine tumbler inside the shrink bag in the middle. Tuck the top access back inside of the tumbler. I will work on a cardboard box to prevent my table from burning when I use the heat gun. Also use heat resistant gloves to protect your hands. These gloves you can find at Judge Electronics. Hold the tumbler with your one hand at the open end of the tumbler and move the heat gun around to avoid burning holes in the bag. If you see any holes forming in the bag, then you need to replace the bag to prevent unprinted spots. Smooth out all wrinkles until the bag forms a tight wrap all over the tumbler and especially over the print. We will bake the tumbler upside down in the oven at 160 degrees and for 9 minutes. After the time is up, remove the tumbler. I found that it's much easier to remove the heat shrink bag while it is still hot and soft. But protect your hands with the gloves. see a perfect print all around. I just cool the tumbler down in a bucket of lukewarm water so that I can put the lid back on. I will now do a mini 2.5 ounce ceramic mug in the oven. All ceramic mugs will work the same in the oven. Wrap the print tightly around the mug and secure the print with heat tape. Firstly we need to cut a 1mm slit in the bag where the ear of the mug will pop through when we insert the mug into the bag. I made a 1mm cut on both sides of the ear and then cut the slit. Insert the mug inside of the bag and let the ear of the mug pop out of the open slit. Now it's very important to pull the edges of the slit in the bag together and secure it with multiple pieces of heat tape all over the opening to close all gaps above, in between and underneath the ear of the mug. If you avoid doing this step properly, the heat gun will create big holes in these areas causing not enough pressure and you will have faded spots all over. Now tuck the loose end of the heat shrink bag inside of the mug and smooth the bag out with the heat gun. Set the oven to 180 degrees and 13 minutes and let it heat up.
When the oven is ready, place the mug upside down in the oven. Remove the heat shrink bag. Perfectly printed. We will now do a ceramic bowl. I will cut the artwork into three parts so that the lining up will be easier. I did not use a full solid wraparound print. Secure the first print and then the second and then the third. Wrap a long strip of heat tape all around the top part of the print. Now the middle part of the print. And lastly, wrap a long piece of heat tape around the bottom part of your print. This heat tape wrap process you only need to do with this ceramic balls. Now place your bowl inside of the heat shrink bag in the middle and shrink it evenly around the bowl. The oven will be set on 180 degrees and for 18 minutes. Place the bowl upside down in the oven. Remove the plastic See, perfectly printed Lastly we will do a tile Make sure your print is the same size or about 1mm bigger than your tile. You don't want your print too big, otherwise the shrink bag will crease the print and it will lift up and create blank, unprinted spots all over your tile. Okay, so secure your print with heat tape all over the edges of the print on the tile. and place the towel in the middle of the bag and cut off any excess bag at the bottom not on the sides and not too small fold the excess bag underneath the towel holding it with one finger shrink the front and then turn it around and shrink the back Bake face up at 180 degrees and 13 minutes.